Hello everybody, it's me, Krakota Cod here, and we're playing Freedom Cup, which is a format with very few bands, and uh, I've changed this team multiple times to seemingly perfect it, so hopefully we have perfected it, so they do have Dragapult, which is one of the leaders in this tier, because it's got access to double team and insane speed. But double team is not quite as reliable to get to times three evasion as like minimize drift blim. All right, so they've gotten to the three times evasion. King Gambit actually could hugely utilize these boosts, even though the idea is to boost Landorus, not King Gambit. They kept going with the evasion. Well, they're 213 and we're 280, so we do outspeed. Honestly, since Kowtow Cleave never misses, yeah, a very, very reliable move, Kowtow Cleave. Incredibly, incredibly reliable. So they bring in their Breloom. We're faster, so Ironhead was my most reliable bet. So they went and set up the Leech Seed. Of course, they are Poison Heal. But they are dead to two Iron Heads. Which is good. And there's the Forfeit. Okay, well, I guess we'll do two battles then. Because of, oh god, I need to one. Whoa, did I see Spectrier? Yeah. I don't know what they're gonna get out of running Spectrier. Well, my Espatra is max speed. So actually, it might be either Speed Tide or mine actually might be faster. If mine is faster, then that's going to be my, the thing I'm going to be utilizing the most is my speed. And then the idea is to bring in Landorus, which has sheer force. Oh, they have one of their own. Oh, are we a competing strategy? Either people took my strategy or they think it's a cool strategy. That could be the case. Well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to baton pass to Lando, and they baton passed most likely to their own Lando, but they could definitely do GU or Spectrier. So they did Spectrier. I'm going to take a risk, and I'm going to terastalize to ground. Okay, that was actually a pretty good bet. Spectre does unfortunately live. And that Grim Ney is going to become incredibly annoying. Luckily, we do have King Gambit here. So the Terod predicted probably gonna bring in Lando or Chiyu. Palafin, okay. So I will swap to Scovillain. Okay, so it's hero form. That makes plenty of sense. Because in the hero form it is pretty powerful. But I do have to say that Moody is a wonderful ability, especially when it comes to using it on Scovillain, because Scovillain, if you do not deal with it with Moody, it can get out of control really, really, really quickly. So that's what I'm hoping to do with it here, is to get it to a point where it is absurdly out of control. Yeah, so there is their Palafin. So my special attack is just suffering. But what I can do is force with stall. I can go for stuff like protect, 
which is great. Really runs them down. And there's the second forfeit. Okay, we're doing three, but... Oh, whoa, 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 okay. Almost hit random battle. Yeah, we will do three battles. Three. That's insane. Three battles because of two forfeits. Is my team... Is my team really that insane? Like... I've been seeing, like, less and less of this Patra lately. Ritla, lately. Lately, because... I guess this patch is kind of like found its counters or like people have found new ways to counter this patra. I don't know. I'm just saying that like I've been seeing less of it. Okay, so this Drift Blim has unburdened. This is the unburdened Drift Blim strategy, Shed Tail Cyclizar. Okay, this is this is a common strategy. Scarfed Cyclizar with Regenerator Shed Tail, Drip Limb with Minimize Baton Pass, right? Yes, so I've actually used the Drip Limb strategy before. It's very, it's very easy to counter if you have the right Pokemon to counter it with. It's actually surprisingly easy to counter. You really just need a Pokemon with a move that can't miss, such as um, Flower Trick um, on my Meow Scarada or Kowtow Cleave on my King Gambit. So what I'm actually going to do is definitely bring in King Gambit here, predicting their Baton Pass. We are obviously faster. Kowtow Cleave cannot miss. Nihilate. All right, well, Nihilate could hurt. Lucky us, Kowtow Cleave guaranteed to hit. Drain Punch did, however, take us down with it. Luckily, Meowskarada is faster. Flower Trick cannot miss, guaranteed to be crit. Oh, I should have Terrod. Oh, never mind, they bulk up. They bulk up. All right, so they got leftovers. I'm going to have to Terra to kill from this range. Yeah, I, I kind of had to Terra to kill from that range. Regilecki is faster, obviously, but ice, okay. Well then, with the ice type, that means that I cannot safely bring Scovillain in. However, I guess what I could do is stall to the point of bringing in Basque Legion to sweep with last respects. However, Cyclizar is completely immune to that. But I'm pretty sure it is Scarfed with their Regenerator ability. So, I suppose I should keep two Pokemon on my team alive. The Basque Legion should be one of them, obviously. Uh, and then... The other should be, like, Scovillain, I would say. Scovillain would be a very reliable choice. So what they're doing with their Regieleki here is very simple. They are basically attempting to wear me down to the point of no return. However, what I have that they do not... Please quote me on this. What I have that they do not is a brain, okay? I have a pretty pretty nice brain, okay? So, what I'm gonna do is I'm predicting they're gonna continue to use Thunderbolt so I can use this opportunity. Now that I'm faster, I got 430 speed now. Now that I'm faster, I can swap to Lando, who's also faster with 420 speed, and kill in one hit with Earth Power. I now outspeed everything on their team. I can uses to set up substitute as well. Driplum has Tailwind. Okay, so that is going to prove to be an issue. We're still faster than the Driplum under Tailwind. And perhaps we can get a poison through that evasion. Oh, wait a minute, we're sheer force. So it completely nullifies additional effects. So they're satisfied with times two evasion. 
they've got their protosynthesis. But luckily, we hit our Earth power twice in a row through their evasion. Wow, way to turn the tables. Lycanroc just obliterated. I didn't even enter a tournament this is for. Like, I'm not even getting, like, anything for these wins. Cyclists are obliterated. Driftblim, obliterated. That was three easy Freedom Cup battles that I won. Make sure to subscribe. If you want to see more Freedom Cup, let me know in the comment section if you want to see more Freedom Cup, because this cup is insane.